Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is your brother, Jedaniah. And brothers and sisters, yes, my last video got taken down because I got a strike. And according to them, it was because of medical misinformation. My brothers and sisters, um, again, like I said, on uh, my, my last video, uh, Go to BitChute, sign up, type in the search bar, TrueSaver, T-R-U-S-A-V-E-R. -E Click on my channel. Come to this here playlist. It's called Warning Evil Revealed. And you're going to see a list of videos that y'all need to see brothers and sisters and uh, as always do your own homework your own due diligence check everything out that you hear research right along with these people and just, and uh, you come to your own conclusion based on what you find according to what's being presented to you brothers and sisters as as always, do your own due diligence. But many of my brothers and sisters are being destroyed for lack of knowledge. And because they reject the knowledge, the most high is rejecting them. And uh, we are seeing a lot of our own brothers and sisters right now falling. They're falling away from the scriptures. And a whole lot of them falling away because, uh, because of sin, lasciviousness, perversion, the th their own thoughts of their mind. And the enemy is taking advantage of every chance he gets to get you to continuously stay in sin and death. That's his objective. That's his job is to take as many as he can with him to the lake of fire because he's been judged. There is no way out of it, even though he's going to fight to the to the very end. There's no way out for him. And none of his followers either, and which happens to be a whole bunch of people on this earth. And that's including a whole bunch of awakened Hebrews. Real talk is only a few. It's, it's going to be a few according to the multiple millions of us around the spread around the whole world. A few going to be saved. As in the days of Noah. You see, just as we was in misery, M, brothers and sisters. Just as when we was in misery, M, and we came out to wilderness, still had all that e Egypt in us. And we didn't purge it out, so we kept on pissing off the Most High. We kept on bringing on his wrath and judgment upon us till he said, this generation has to die off in the wilderness. And so he took the, the ones who was children, the ones who was raised up with him. He took them into the land. That's why the scripture says you must become as little children. You, you have to be reborn and be as an infant, as a child relearning everything for the first time and he can work with you on that but if you come at him as an adult acting like this is the way you're going to do this that and the other doing this thing like you want to do it it ain't going to happen for you we know we have a short time we see what's happening we know with um revelations tells us 
we see it. Could this worldwide thing be the mark of the beast? It could, it could be. Because of this verse here. That no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And he is causing uh, the small, the great, the rich, the poor, free and bond to receive this thing all across the world. So could this be it? It very could well be. But you have to go check out those other videos to see what these people are finding up in there. They're finding stuff in there that's definitely not being reported. Which respected people are trying to voice and trying to say something, but they're being silenced so that the so that the masses may be deceived. But we are not deceived. We know what time it is, brothers and sisters. And we know that, yeah, there's going to be food shortages and it's going to get pretty bad. But those who belong to the Most High, y'all got to remember He, it is He who created you, He who created this earth. It is He who feeds you. It is he who provides for you. He is the husband man. He is our creator, our king. Y'all hear what I'm saying? The Messiah is your savior. He is the high priest and also king. He's the high priest, y'all. You have to trust in the Most High. No matter if you can't store up and stock up, if, like most people are doing right now, they're in a panic. They know what's coming. They see it. So they're storing up and stocking up. Where is your faith? The Messiah sent the disciples out with nothing. Don't take nothing. Don't take no script. Just trust in the spirit of the Most High. Trust, just trust the Most High to do what he going to do. And they did that. And then everything was taken care of for them, y'all. The Most High led them to where he wanted them to stay. He led them to food. He led them to water. Led them to whatever they needed. He provided. Y'all got to remember these things. That's why they're in this book. To lift you up. To let you know who you're dealing with. Don't listen to the world telling you. You ain't gonna make it. Because if you belong to him. You will make it by all means that the most high deem necessary. He'll get you through. Just as when he took us out in, of misery. We went into that wilderness. And he fed us manna. He, he, he provided water for us. None of our clothes wax old. Come on now. What other nation of people by the millions was led and fed the way we was? None. None on the earth. Led and fed in the wilderness, in the desert for 40 years. It was only until we got to our good land that the man has stopped falling down because he knew his children would be fed. He knew his children would have water and shelter in their own land. 
you got to keep this in mind as all this is coming upon us and let fear fall away. Now, I'm not telling y'all not to prepare like I've always said in the past. Prepare for any emergency. Don't just let it be, okay, I'm, I'm trying to survive the end times. I told you, I don't do that. Don't sit there and tell, commit yourself. I'm doing all this so I can survive the end times. You're not going to survive the end times if that's, if that's what you're doing it for. Because your faith ain't up in here. It ain't up in this book. It's in yourself now. But you put your faith in the Most High. He will lead and guide you and what to do. And if he leads you into self-sustainability, that's fine. Be self-sustainable as possible. Get yourself off the grid. Find your own water source. Get you some of them um, collection um, barrel, water collection barrels uh, or some type of container. Hook it up to your uh, 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 rain your drainage uh, system, your, your uh, rainwater system, gutters, sorry, gutters. I couldn't think of that for nothing. But anyway, hook it up to your gutters, collect rainwater, learn how to filter that water out for any emergency or just to be self-sufficient, just to be off of their water supply. And you know they're putting all stuff in the air, so you, you, you still going to have to filter out even the rain that fall from the air. So there are natural ways that you can make your own water filter. You don't have to buy theirs. You can make your own. They show you how to make your own using sand and rocks and charcoal and dirt. There's videos for that. How to make your own filter. So if you have the opportunity to become self-sustainable, I would, I would, yeah, uh, especially if you have your own house. Now, you also need to be prepared to lose everything. So whatever you got now, you, you, you still have to be prepared. Okay, I might lose all this, which I stocked up, stored up and that I built you got to be prepared for that in your mind as well so when the time comes you won't be sitting around when the time comes to run if the most I tell you to, to leave and then you turn back like Sarah not Sarah oh, I'm sorry you turn back like Lot's wife I forgot her name but anyway you if you turn back like that worried about your materialistic things you worried about but all my stuff I have, I have so much stuff I built up my garden my you gonna you, you pillow of salt pillow of salt you're gonna be left for the dogs you'll never make it turning back looking back at your stuff Look what happened to the rich person. Turned his back on the Messiah for all of his material wealth and, and lost his crown, lost everything. He's done. He's toast. Don't be like him. So get your mind prepared to lose everything that you even build up right now. No matter how long we have. We might have 10 more years, 5 years. Who knows how much time we have left. But for the time we got left, you can at least live as self-sufficient as possible for, so that if any emergency arises, you'll be ready for anything. You got that peace of mind until the time comes. And always be ready to lose everything, brothers and sisters. So with that, uh, I just wanted to put that in your hearts and ears and encourage y'all to stay with the Most High. Stay in prayer. Pray for me, brothers and sisters, as I'm praying for you. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Shalom.